Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, make sure you hit that bell icon. Now we working. Shout out to the Super Chats, the channel donations, and the Patreon patrons. Now, there seems to be a lot of talk about August 26th, Mayweather McGregor, specifically Conor McGregor sparring. Now, I already made a video, Ellie Secback, shout out to him and ES News. He contacted Brandon Rios, who admits, I never sparred or met Conor McGregor. There was a rumor that was circulating. Jesse Vargas said he overheard that Conor McGregor got knocked out in sparring. Brandon Rios was in the initial video where Jesse Vargas claimed that. Somehow that snowballed out of control and it got switched into Brandon Rios was the one who actually did it and knocked out Conor McGregor. So you guys in the social media age, I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta make sure you pay attention to where you're getting information from. You know what I mean? Even if somebody says it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. I just say, like, go to the source. Some of y'all, even the video I did, people start hitting the thumb down and shit. Like, no, he didn't get knocked down. No shit. That's what the whole video was about. But people just read titles because they're lazy. You know what I'm saying? So in the video, I'm talking about how Brandon Rios denied it and clearing it up and debunking that portion. Now, I can't say if he got knocked out by somebody else. Somebody saying Wheeler knocked him out. I don't know about all that. But as far as Brandon Rios being the culprit, Rios denied it. And some people, oh, it's a non-disclosure. Whatever. But since you guys care about Connor and who he's sparring so much, I thought this was interesting. So I'm making a video about it. Now, this is actual true facts. Like Jay-Z says, super facts. Connor McGregor is sparring with one of his sparring partners for Floyd Mayweather is a sparring partner that sparred with Manny Pacquiao for the biggest fight of his career, which was against, drum roll please, Floyd Mayweather. And that's Deshaun Flyboy Johnson. So Deshaun Flyboy Johnson is an MMA fighter. So Deshaun Flyboy Johnson is an MMA fighter slash boxer. He's competed both in the UFC, MMA, and he's also competed in boxing. And just so you guys have proof, because I know, like I said, 2017 is no longer about just saying whatever. You got to show some receipts. Now, again, he, he's competed in both sports. He's in shape. And there's another common denominator, at least with me in, in my channel. But you see it right here. It says Team McGregor, and it shows Deshaun, and then it shows Mayweather. And then the caption reads, God is so good to me. It's official, headed to Ireland to help out the legend himself, Conor McGregor, for his upcoming bout against Floyd Mayweather, which is stated to be the biggest fight in combat sports history. I was fortunate enough to be a part of the biggest boxing fight in history when I helped Manny Pacquiao prepare against Floyd Mayweather. Now I'll be a part of this mega fight, which should surpass all records. I will give every ounce in me to make sure McGregor is at his best so we can really make history. Hashtag Team McGregor the irish flag the the, the four-leaf clover etc so he's pumped he's getting to work and practice his skill when you order a pair of floyd mayweather's custom shoes to fully be part for the notorious to fully be the part for the notorious conor mcgregor right it's nothing but love for you fam now let's make history and get this clown so he's telling you what side he's on and he says, flight to Ireland in the AM, right? And you see, people are talking about it. Here's some of Conor McGregor's other sparring partners. Out in the streets of Dublin, Ireland with my boys. Some good games of pool. My new brother's from London and Ireland. Will always be mates from here on out. So, he's out in Ireland. Sparring with Mr. McGregor. Now, I just wanted to show you, wow. And then you see a Nike kind of logo, just beat him. Mayweather's in trouble. I don't care what anyone says. 
this unorthodox stallion of an Irishman is coming and looking sharp. We as a team still got plenty of time to prepare and he's looking amazing. I'm keeping it real. You can't train for that style period. I'm turning up my training even more to make sure he will be ready. And you all know I bust my ass. I'm pumped. Team McGregor, hashtag he's different. Hashtag Mayweather better run. So he's he's really banging. And you see him in Conor McGregor's gym. You see the picture of Floyd. I see what they don't see, brother. And it says Conor, he tagged Conor McGregor. Let's just keep working. Only a matter of time. You look that man in his face at the press tour and let him know this fight's bigger than money. And unlike him, you have a whole country behind you and a team around you from day one with real love that money can't buy. So we're already winning the fight. Hashtag War McGregor. Hashtag Team McGregor. Hashtag Unconditional Love, etc. That Mayweather McGregor press conference called me all heated up. This fight is going to be something else. Blessed to be a part of it all. Back to work in the AM, Viva Las Vegas. So I think he might have went to the press tour. And he says, blessed, history, mega fight. And he was leaving the States to go back to Ireland. So as far as I know, Conor McGregor, what he's doing, he's splitting up his camp. He wants some of his camp to be at home in Ireland, his his origin. And then the rest, I think he's going to come back and train in either Vegas or L.A. You know what I mean? When you got bread, you can kind of move around, switch up training camps. And I mean, it makes sense. A lot of fighters do this Pacquiao. When you're fighting in, in Ireland or the Philippines or whatever, you have to, you want to probably come to where you're going to be fighting so you get adjusted to that time zone. Now, just to give you guys some background, I told you Deshaun Flyboy Johnson, he's participated in the MMA, also as a boxer. Shout out to Sure Dog. This is their profile on him. Born in 88, age 29, height 5'9". We know Conor McGregor is taller than Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather is listed at 5'9", but I believe he's shorter than that just from pictures. And it says his weight, he was fighting at 155. Nine wins, two losses. They were both by submission, right? And here are some of the names that he's, he's previously faced. Jake Matthews, things like that. Now, his record in boxing is a lot different. And this, I told you guys I had a, a fun fact that I'll get to. So this is his box rec. Shout out to box rec. Deshaun Johnson, he has a record of 22, 21, and 3. He has seven knockouts, so low KO percentage is only 15%. You see it here. He's been knocked out three times in 21 fights, so it's pretty tough. If you have 21 losses, but you've only been knocked out three times, that's pretty good. And he has three draws. His alias is Flyboy again, age 29. He's an orthodox fighter, just like Floyd Mayweather. And that's it. But I told you I had something that was, that was funny. And Aaron Coley. He just fought him in March. Now, if you follow my channel, Aaron Coley is from Hayward and he lives out here and he's been on the channel frequently with Troy King a lot of times. They were doing like the Vasil Lomachenko predictions with Nicholas Walters and Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia. So shout out to my dude, Aaron Coley. That's Aaron Coley, you guys might remember his face. But Aaron Coley just fought him and actually beat him when they fought last March. So that's another one of his losses. And he has another fight coming up. Make sure you guys check out Aaron Coley's next fight, which is happening July 22nd. He's already training with my dude Ramon. Troy King's probably giving him some pointers. But that's Deshaun Johnson, who is sparring with Conor McGregor. Also, Ricardo Pinnell, he's from out here too. So I know Ricardo. And he got knocked out by Jay Leon Love, Deshaun Johnson. He lost to Jesse Hart, so he's been in there with some some quality names, I would say. Josh Clotty. J Rock is that J Rock? Julian Williams. I didn't know he fought him. Yep, he fought Julian Williams. So Deshaun Johnson, he has veteran experience. Aaron Martinez. Yep, Aaron Martinez, the one that gave Robert Guerrero issue. So he must have been flat. Glenn Tapia. Damn. Daquan Arnett, who I believe trains with Errol Spence Jr. So he, he's been in there with some real, some real ones. Luis Cuba Arias. He's been in there with some names. Dominique Wade, who fought Golovkin. So Sergio Mora. He's been in there with some, 
Michael Lucero. He's been in there with some people, but I mean, if you look at his record, judge off that, it's not going to look great. But that's boxing. Records don't mean you can't give someone good work because I know Demarcus Corley was training and he has a lot of losses and he was in the Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao camp, I believe. So that doesn't indicate anything. The only thing that my question is this is he doesn't have the punching power. It looks like 15% knockout you know what i mean that's not really much I, I would say floyd has more snap and he's more accurate than that you know what i'm saying if you look at floyd's percentage i guarantee you it is not that you know what i mean it'll probably be 40 50 or something like that and that's because he moved up five weight divisions and things like that so here's floyd let's check floyd out 49 to 0 53 percent and again he moved up five divisions so he's fighting conor mcgregor in his debut that looks crazy but you guys let me know what you think a lot of you guys had questions about conor mcgregor who he's sparring with and that's one of the people he's sparring with deshaun flyboy johnson who's definitely riding for the camp and i mean you're getting paid i'm sure conor mcgregor camps pay good stuff like that and you want to give the person the best possible work Pauli malinaji was a person that they were talking about bringing in and contacted him and he said he was there to help if, if that's what he really wants. But then later, I don't know, because Pauli Malinaji is now saying he ain't heard from the camp. And the fight is like coming up pr pretty soon. So if they haven't really negotiated or finalized with Pauli, then it might not be happening. And Conor McGregor kind of revealed at the press conference that Pauli had been talking shit. So he wanted to settle it. So it sounded like more more so a setup. Like you, he wanted to bring Pauli Malinaji in just so he can, you know what I mean, release anger or some shit on Pauli Malinaji. But Pauli Malinaji is a good boxer, especially if he's in shape. So I don't know if it would have been what he expected. So as far as Pauli, I don't know. Because last time I heard, last time I seen from Pauli, he said he hasn't really heard from the McGregor camp. But a lot of you guys, again, had questions on who Connor's sparring. And I wanted to give you guys some um, clarification. And again, Deshaun Flyboy Johnson, he also sparred with Manny Pacquiao to prepare for this man also, Floyd Mayweather. So some similarities, some interesting things there. I don't know why Deshaun Johnson, he's in shape. He's about Floyd's build. Um, I don't think, I think Floyd has more power because he's, he's more precise and more surgical, but they're both orthodox. It's just, it's funny that they keep, I don't know, maybe Conor McGregor did his research or remember, remembers him from the, the UFC or something and remember Pacquiao used him so he decided to bring him into camp I don't know I haven't seen enough of him I've seen um pieces of his fight with my dude Aaron Coley the Jay Leon Love fight I did see that and a couple others but I haven't seen enough similarities but who knows maybe Conor McGregor seen something but it's funny that two southpaws who are fighting Floyd Mayweather they bring in the same person Deshaun Johnson let me know what you guys think this means how can Johnson prepare Conor McGregor it's obviously an uphill battle. Some people in the UFC think Conor McGregor has a great shot. A lot of people in boxing think it's a long shot. I want to know what you guys think is happening. August 26th, T-Mobile Arena. Let me know what you think. That's really it. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sign up. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.